What's up guys, Sal here. So when it comes to foldable smartphones, Samsung Z Flip line is the most popular of them all. Last year, Z Flip 3 was responsible for more than 60% of sales in the foldable phone market in both Q3 and Q4 of 2021, making it the most popular foldable phone. One of the big reasons for this is that it was one of the most aggressively priced foldable phones at $999. Now with the Galaxy Z Flip 4, Samsung wants to replicate the same success. In fact, Samsung is so confident with the Z Flip 4 that they have decided to double the production rate compared to its predecessor at launch. According to analysts, Samsung is expected to reduce the price of the Z Flip 4 even further to put the foldables in more hands. With that said, the Z Flip 3 did improve a lot over its predecessor, but the battery isn't one of them. It featured a 3300 mAh cell, which was disappointing to say the least. But with Z Flip 4, Samsung is doing something about it. Galaxy Club has revealed the battery capacity of the Z Flip 4, and it seems Samsung has increased the capacity by 100 mAh to 3400 mAh. I know 100 mAh wouldn't make a world of difference, and that's a trade-off you're making because it's a foldable. The physics of a battery just means that the space taken by the hinge and the legitimate need for the body to be slim result in a smaller set of cells. The phone physically can't fit a battery as big as the S22 Ultra or even the S22. But since the phone is featuring a new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus which is expected to be more efficient, coupled with a true LTPO2 display would mean the battery life on the Z Flip 4 will surely gonna be better than its predecessor. Now I hope Samsung also increases the charging speed from 15 watts on the Flip 3 to 25 watts on the Flip 4 which would mean charging from 0 to 100 would take around 40 to 45 minutes. Moving on, the Z Flip 4 just like its predecessor will have a side mounted fingerprint scanner. The punch hole display still remains which is actually good news as under display cameras are still not ready for prime time. Importantly, Samsung will trim the bezels down so it's gonna look much better than last year. The outer cover screen is getting bigger too, but the inner display will remain the same at 6.7 inches. Samsung will also include a new and improved ultra-thin glass called Super UTG. Both the Z Flip 4 and the Z Fold 4 will be unveiled in August in an unpacked event. Of course, for all the latest updates, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.